start starting off, I suppose, at the beginning, I mean, how did you prepare yourself for having a child? And did you have any like initial worries about about um being a parent? Um, I think like, you know, I mean, nothing can prepare you for being a parent because like being a parent is something that like, you know, it's, it, it's, um, it's individual for everybody, you know, like you, because you're not, you're not just becoming a parent, like you're becoming a parent for the first time and that child is making you a parent for the first time, you know? So it's kind of like, sure. It, it's a, it's an, it's an interesting experience, almost, <clears throat> almost spiritual experience because you, you kind of like earn like a, a hierarchy, you know, you earn like a, and a graduation from being just a, a human to being like, you know, playing the hand of God, you know, you've created mm. life and you have this thing in front of you, but then you have yeah. to like play the hand of the universe and to keep it alive, you know, and do the best for it. It's, so it's it kind sounds of, scary to me. <laughs> it's kind of like, yeah, you know, it's not scary. It's kind of really cool because like, you know, we, cause, cause I'm like, you know, I was, uh, what was I 30, uh, 31, 32. And I'm like, girlfriend was like 28 29 or whatever so we were like yeah let's just uh you know let's it's now it's time you know we're we're good time in our lives to have a child and and so kind of like the only preparation we did was like um i kind of had to i mean i had this conversation you said at the beginning though like you said you know you were scared of of having offspring and then passing on uh issues to offspring right which is which is it was a huge concern of mine but then i was like yeah but you know that there's so much like there's so much like help available right if you if you if you know how to access it and plus it's me so like you know i do this for a living i help people for a living so i was yeah, like yeah. Oh, i can help my kid you know if they have issues maybe they and then i was like look there's there's a chance they won't have issues um but um which we'll get onto in a bit but in, in terms of um in terms of like prep uh i basically kind of like literally sat down um because there's some physical there's like so when you talk about preparation there's no mental preparation you can do but there's some physical preparation you can do you can um make sure that you've got everything you need, right? So I kind of like made a list of everything we needed and just like bought everything straight away. And so we had this like huge list of stuff we needed to buy and like, and so that to me was like the, the prep work for it, right? But um, there was no, um, there was no, uh, uh, there's, no, there's nothing you can do to prepare yourself for, for what it is. And you know what's the interesting thing about it is like when you have a kid, like it goes from being like um, everything like, how can I explain, you know, like, you know, when you have to like prepare stuff for yourself, like say, say like, oh, I've got to go to the grocery store. So like, yeah, then you have to like mentally prepare yourself to do all this stuff and you have to do other things. You take your headphones with you and stuff. It's kind of like those things come secondary and then you have to prepare the kid first. So you put yourself second and do you know, the pro- biggest problem there is that you, you kind of like, you'll forget about you a little bit. So, and then yeah. what happens, and this is difficult because what happens is, you know, you'll go to the grocery store and oh, sh- I forgot my headphones, you know, and then you can't deal with all the stuff that's going on and mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So it's like, it's super interesting. Like I, yeah, it doesn't mean you could pay yourself, but, um, but it was, you know, yeah, it's good. It's good. I forgot the rest of the question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you answered it pretty well that, um, I think, uh, you know, as, as far as my, my worries being a parent, it's, it's less about, I mean, the, the the thing that I'm most scared about is um, their their experiences at school, like in later oh, life. Yeah. I think, you know, I, I feel like sort of the early stages, sort of going up to, you know, primary school at the top, um, that, you know, I feel like I could probably do pretty well, but I, I'm I, I'm always worried in the back of my head. It's like, oh my god, are they going to have the same experiences that i've had yeah um, did i feel the exact same thing but i do have an answer for that but um i, th- I think as far as like difficulties that i have i think you know the executive functioning on mental health on my end is is one of the reasons why i'm a bit tentative about it yeah 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 and, and like that was like one of my you know the school thing was really hard like i I feel like school is so, like my experience in school was f- terrible. <laughs> I had to stop myself swearing. It was, was awful, right? And like uh, even like primary school, secondary school, 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 like the whole thing just sucked. And, um, and, I, and I relayed this to my, my partner. I said, look, I just, I just can't, you know, I can't have this 
beautiful little thing we just made go off to school and then and then like you know he's so when because when he's that young we realize like oh he's definitely adhd and we're like look he's gonna have some issues in school and it's like you know and she's like oh okay so we decided to homeschool we were like we're gonna homeschool and we had this rule actually we said look if, if our kid says like i want to go to school we have to allow him to try because this is his own person you know like he he wants to he has to live his life as well and so we have to respect his choice you know like that's not we don't dominate somebody's life. We just guide them in the best way we can. You know, we don't make their decisions. Um, and I know everyone's like, oh, you know, you, you have to make decisions for your kids until they're 18. Yeah, stuff like, you know, drinking and smoking and, you know, driving cars and stuff. But, but like things like, you know, oh, I, you know, this or that and stuff. Um, and so uh, my kid was like, I want to go to school. We were like, oh, shoot. And we spent all this money buying this homeschool stuff. We are like, oh, great. So we thought, okay. So we found this really cool school um, locally, uh, which uh, my partner's sister works at, funny enough. Um, and it was the best school locally. Um, and it's a Welsh school as well, because obviously we're living in Wales and we wanted them to have bilingual um, upbringing. So um, so anyway, this is interesting. We, we got him initiated in the school and it was difficult like the 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 integration was super difficult because like um he was on like the the list to be tested for all sorts of stuff and and they were kind of like you know but and it was a bad experience the first class he went to was a bad experience they were like does he play with other children i was like well i, well, I don't know it's been covid you know what i mean like I, I don't know um and they were like you know because we'd never had this experience with him before because we we'd never been around other kids with him um and then they were they were just really, they were just, it was a bad experience. But then that teacher left and a new teacher came in and this new teacher's kid is on the spectrum, right? And so this new teacher was like, just dead cool. And she like, she was like, oh, we're doing this, that and the other. And then, so we had this huge, there was lo there's loads of issues. I could sit here all day talking about issues like how, you know, getting him past the gate, you know, like to go into the school. Like that, that on itself is just a night nightmare. But in terms I of... I relate to the, the getting past the gate thing. Oh. I used to do a bit of special needs TAing. Yeah. And I had to yeah, do yeah, that yeah. a few times. <laughs> and it, it's so I, weird, right? Because like he, he'd walk, he'd like run up to the gate and then freak out and we'd have a full on meltdown. Just, I was like, dude, it's like, and it's like, oh my God. And then, um, but yeah, but now, funny enough, like yesterday, I went to pick him up now. So he's, he's expanded. He's been there a year. He's in a, he's in a full time position there now. And um, he's, in the, he's in a class with his actual auntie, which is cool. And he loves it. But the cool thing, there's two cool things. The first thing is that the sc schooling had changed the way that we... So when we, you and I were in school, right? It was a sit down at a desk. And if you can't sit down at a desk, there's something wrong with you. And that's the issue. You're the issue, right? Not the establishment. But it's changed now. Schooling is... Um, they, uh, what the hell do they call it? It's called like um, uh, like a rotation development. So the, the it's indoor-outdoor play. So the doors are always open. So they can go outside if they want to. Uh, and you're never sat at a desk doing something. You're always in small little groups doing like different tasks and play learning and and all these things. Like they did Makaton and they did yoga and they did you know, all these kind of things, right? And I was like, yeah. holy smokes! But and the cool thing about it is that the school have a, a catchment um, criteria. So he they did certain things with him yesterday, and then so we had the conversation. So now he they they, they I have to send him for assessment for hypermobility and. Um, you know, uh, fine motor skill issues and, you know, all the other stuff, the lovely things that come with autism. And so, you know, he's <clears throat> got floppy hands and he can't hold things and he gets frustrated. He, do he doesn't play with kids. He plays on his own. All this sort of so it's kind of like where I was terrified of that experience for him. He's actually in a really good place because the teachers are looking out for those things to then say, okay, this is what we do in this situation. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So That's a little, more holistic sort of yeah. case by case kind of exactly and i like Attitudes. and i think this whole new approach to schooling is is an initiative here in wales i don't know if it's everywhere in the uk but it's definitely here in wales so i'm kind of like really blessed um and so yeah so you know all those fears i had you know it's kind of helped me therapeutically because going to the school with him and helping him go in there i'm feeling way more at ease with it which makes me less like because i was just scared the whole time you know thinking back to my childhood thinking like, oh my god it's gonna be a nightmare and like you know yeah. and this is the thing you'll you'll learn this when you have a when you have a kid it's like holding a very thin glass ball and you don't want to drop it because it could smash anyway it's, it's so delicate you know you don't want anyone to touch this thing you know i had such a um, such bad anxiety um when like family members would, would pick up uh, my kid when he was he was a little baby i'd like i'd be crying and shaking and stuff because i'd be like so like oh my god and i was so protective because um 
it was it was difficult you know like and you know uh, you know we give like personalities to shoes and stuff and we have a bad time throwing out old clothes well it's kind of like a, a, you know with a kid it's, there's a huge there's a there's a deeper connection there you know uh, especially for artistic people as we feel things deeper and so having other people holding was crazy so i had this like whole like oh no you know having them like go attachment. to yeah you know, an- anxiously attached <laughs> yeah ex- exactly and you know but then again but yeah, it's it's good now because he's like he loves school and um and uh, yeah, I was just like wow. And so yeah, it's definitely helped me uh, think about you know how, it's helping me as well. And I think that's a good thing. You know, there's there's therapy there. So that's awesome, man. Thanks, buddy. Well, um, I guess like could you could you give us like a couple of or may, maybe one one for each about like the the positives. And negatives about about being an autistic parent. Do you find that there's certain aspects that you struggle with, and certain aspects that you really flourish?